Hello and welcome to Six Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. This week we feature a special report on Australia's first nurse-led walk-in centre. We will be hearing how the centre in Canberra is run and later finding out what GPs think about it. The centre was opened in May last year at Canberra Hospital with the government saying it would take the pressure off the emergency department. No appointment is needed. Patients with minor illness or injuries can walk in and be treated by a team of around 12 nurse practitioners. And it is open seven days a week from 7am until 11pm at night. With plans for the federal government to roll out a similar model across the country, we spoke to the centre's Assistant Director of Nursing, Nuri Stanton, about whether it's been successful. The consumer's uptake of the service has been very pleasing. We see about 50 patients now every day, seven days a week, and to date we've had 140 written compliments from consumers to the service, citing the thoroughness of the physical examination, the understandable information that's been given by nursing staff. Um, and that's um, a huge amount of positive feedback from consumers. Um, our nurses on the team are a um, combination of nurse practitioners and advanced practice nurses. They're very experienced in a range of um, treatments um, and, and care. Uh, they can do a limited range of x-ray orders. Um, they can plaster, they can suture. We can supply about 30 medications if a client meets um, the, the conditions mm. for dispensing those medications. Um, we can give a sick certificate for up to three days. Well, a lot of consumers do say that they have come here because they couldn't get an appointment with their GP. So, for example, if they have an infection that needs um, treatment, such as a middle ear infection or tonsillitis, and they can't get into their GP, this is a good um, service for them. If they have a chronic um, ongoing health need, we wouldn't be trying to um, take that service on, we would refer them to their GP. Our hours um, of operation, because, because we open early and close late, um, it, again it makes access so much easier for consumers. Well we work in partnership with the GPs and clearly um, the GPs are the people who should manage chronic and complex conditions. We only treat minor illness and injury and um, that's a model of care that um, can allow GPs to treat more serious conditions and, and um, I suppose deliver a service to the people who need them most. But some local GPs have raised concerns about the centre. We spoke to the CEO of the ACT Division of General Practice, Steve Sant. We have some concerns about the walk-in centre. We would much rather see the nurse practitioners working in general practice and collaborating much more closely with GPs rather than setting up a separate centre in, uh, in the hospital. I don't think there's been any real noticeable change in the pressure on GPs. Uh, a very small number of patients have been seen by the walk-in centre, um, probably less than one practice's worth in, in, uh, in Canberra. Our members certainly don't report any easing of pressure. Um, we have uh, a significant shortage of GPs in Canberra um, and people are still saying that, that they, that's not getting any better. Better would be for the, the government to consider funding uh, GPs to assist them having nurse practitioners in their practice, make it easier for them to group them in, uh, and probably putting the, incorporating the walk-in centre into the emergency department and having uh, people coming in and either streaming into normal ED or streaming into the walk-in service. Well, the government did say it would be carrying out a full evaluation of the centre, so we'll be watching out for that. I'm Gemma Collins. See you next week.